All right, guys, we are here for the ultimate. Oh, is it ult penultimate or ultimate? Ult I think it's the ultimate round of this week's Popper Ponderings. My name is Austin. I'm playing Big Red in uh, in Popper and exclusively on the mana base. www.themanabase.com. We cannot keep this hand. And I'm going to keep. Yeah, it's a good one. Playing up against Firk. Frick. F R C K. Hmm. See, even that Urza piece on top was pretty powerful. Snow covered island tortured existence. Alright. Excited to see where this one goes. Luckily, I have those Ray of Revelations on my sideboard. This guy's classy. Plays his land in the second main phase. Wow, just natural try. That's how it's going to be. I'm not going to complain. I need something like a self assembler, though. A lot of removal spells, just not a lot to do with them. Cycle a Viscera Dragger. Cycle another Viscera Dragger. There's a Great Furnace. Maybe we should have played that first. Yeah, we probably should have. It's too excited to just get Tron into play. Hmm. Not sure about this Anarchist card. The art's pretty sweet, though. I haven't really gotten the chance to... Do a bunch of work. So this is kind of cool. He gets to sacrifice that Fisher Dragger. Oh. Okay. Or that too. Lose one life. And then take three. This is an interesting deck. Very interesting. There's a self-assembler. But I guess I can do both of this. So I am going to do both of this. Sacrifice this. Draw a card. Make three one ones, And then cast self-assembler. This is my combo. Or uh, card advantage engine. I would. Alright, let's see what he's got. This is... Unearth is only a sorcery. Yeah. This card's pretty good. Cycle Baron Moor. Six mana, four three, though. <laughs> Alright. Going to lose nothing. He's going to draw a card. Alright, I'm going to untap. I'm going to draw. I'm going to attack with all of my creatures. Six, seven, eight, nine. A 13, I'll play another self assembler. Papa, oh, yes, I would like to use the ability. I would like to play this chromatic star. And I would like to pass the turn. I have a feeling I'm probably just dead at some point here. Like. He's gem bomb polluters in his graveyard. He has six lands in play with a tortured existence. 
Or he's just going to pass the turn again. I can dig just passing the turn again. He is dead if he has nothing here. Just take 11? Or die? Please? No. So this is the end of combat. Gets back. I assume is this thing a zombie? No. He got back the Viscera Dragger. Block, yeah. Take seven. Down to six. Down goes self assembler. We get to play another self assembler. So he's just going to draw a card in response here. Another self assembler. Play another self assembler. And okay. And we're done. Damn goes a token. Oh, that's pretty cool. This thing can return. It probably has something to return a zombie to his hand. This deck seems pretty neat, actually. Oh, I'm just not dead. I'm probably dead. Nope. All right, sweet. We got there, game one. All right, all right, nice, nice. All right, so I think we want... It's Ray of Revelations for sure. Maybe not the Arc Lightning or one of these Artillerizes. And I think that's what we're going to do. We're just going to self-assembler people. Who would have thought... Five mana four fours that draw another four four when they come into play will be busted. But we have proved we're not getting hit with 12 points of power on turn three that they're pretty good. I'm gonna keep, I'm, I'm confident. Smoldering Crater. Ooh, Carrion Feeder. We like that one here, Popper Ponderings. Ooh, there's the Ray of Revelation. <laughs> Assume we're taking one here. Urza's Tower is a good one. I guess we want to go Prophetic Prism because next turn we can go Icker Wellspring. Uh, Cold Oath Rebirth if we want. Prophetic Prism opens us up to be able to, uh, to play other things. Like this Ray of Revelation next turn. And the Rise of the Eldrazi art, of course. He's got the Scourge art on the Carrion Feeder. Can respect that. And these snow-covered basics. These are pretty sick. Haunted Fengraf, you say. Cycle Viscera Dragger. So that's a cool combo. He can bring that thing back. Attack me for four, then sack it to the Carrion Feeder. Which might be what he's doing. This card seems pretty versatile. Zombie Ogre Warrior. Yep. So he is doing just that. I assume he's going to sacrifice. Oh, he has the tortured existence. Yeah. Yeah. So there is a great furnace. So now that means we get to. I think we're just going to Ray of Revelation this thing. And Flame Slash this thing. So next turn we have Icar Wall Spring called Dotha Rebirth. Which starts to pull us ahead. Draws us two cards. No, Ghoul Razor gets back the Carrion Feeder. So, an expedition map. 
but I don't think I guess we get to we can go great furnace expedition map wellspring cult of rebirth Draw a card. Sacrifice this. Draw a card. I really love the Kaldotha Rebirth, Galvanic Blast, whatever decks. I think they're so sweet. Ghoul Razor. This guy was pretty sweet in Innistrad, wasn't it? Come bring your brothers tonight. You feast on living flesh. It's pretty scary. This is some scary art. So this probably means he has something to trade to get the ghoul razor back. But I think I'm okay with that. Especially because I'm going to start drawing a few more cards. He's a little pigeonholed on mana. There's that torture resistance. We are going to get to kill it. Oh, well, that was a mistake, but that's alright. Um, add a green. I'm going to destroy that. All right. Tack in for one. Play an Icker Wellspring. Draws a self assembler. That's a good one. We're going to be well on our way to get Tron next turn. Then we can start self assembling next turn. Ghoul Razor gets back to Carrion Feeder. We'll just get power plants. Undamp, play the power plants. I guess we just firebolt this thing. So we can keep getting in for one. And then play a self assembler. So that's sweet. We'll say it's definitely more than two damage though. We will on our way to another 2-1. Guys, our decks have like been getting progressively better, I think. This is exciting. Fine Storm omitted. Our decks are getting a little better every week here. I don't know. We're getting consistent results. I'm getting pretty happy with this. This card. Whew. Sultite Emissary. When he dies, you manifest the top card of your deck. Okay. This card was sweet in draft. Putrid Imp. Is this a zombie? So many zombies. So many zombies. Alright, Echo Wellspring, do your thing, pal. Called Zotha Rebirth. Is that better than a self assembler? I don't think it is. You will get to make a free 2-2. I think that's okay, though. Took that 4, and then we'll just play another self-assembler. I don't know how well he matches up against these things. It seems so modest, but, like... We've seen even that black deck had, a, had difficulty just, like, having the resources to kill them all. 
And 4 4 is pretty big in this format. It doesn't die to Bolt. It does die to Galvanic Blast, though. So that's something that is definitely a factor. What could it be? Putrid Emp, eh? Still just a 1 1. Just thinking about what he wants to do here. Just attack with the Petri Nymph, I would assume. No attacks. Okay. And he's going to scoop it up, so we get the win. He is just too scared of the self-assemblers. And we come out on top. Thank you very much. Two and one with Big Red. So thanks, guys, for watching. This was round three of Popper Ponderings. My name is Austin. This deck is Big Red, and I will see you right back here for the conclusion.